An explanation of the chart one. Being aware of the transaction. The transaction specifics, including the date, credit, and debit amounts, etc. Two, journal entry. Using this method, we will debit and credit several accounts to document the business transaction. Three, ledger posting. During this procedure, the transactions that were entered into the journal will be moved to the relevant ledger accounts. Four, trail balance. Using this procedure, we will compile a list of all general ledger accounts into column totals for credit and debit accounts that are evenly represented in a business's ledger. To make sure the entries in the company's bookkeeping system are mathematically correct, a trial balance is produced. 5. Profit and Loss Account Using this procedure, we shall ascertain a company's net profit or loss for the accounting period. 6. Balance Sheet Using this method, we shall ascertain an organization's or business's summary of its financial balances. When accounting is done by hand, accountants must do each of the six tasks by hand. However, only two of the six mentioned jobs are completed by hand while using accounting software, i.e., identifying the transactions and entering vouchers. The accounting program handles the remaining four tasks automatically, trial balance, profit and loss account, balance sheet, and ledger posting. Accounting terminology. For those who are new to accounting or for individuals, understanding basic accounting terms is crucial. The following accounting terms are frequently used in the industry. You one, capital. Capital is the sum of money or value that an owner contributes to the business. Two, transaction. A transaction is an exchange of money or money's worth between two accounts in the course of business. There are two kind of transactions. Cash transaction. A cash transaction is one in which the funds are received or dispersed right away. A credit transaction is one in which payment is made after the transaction has been completed. However, the advantages are felt right away. 3. Assets. Anything that has monetary value and can be exchanged for cash that is owned by a person or business in particular. 4. Liability. All sums owed by the entity to other parties are considered liabilities. Thus, loans, the amount owed to creditors, and so on are included. Five. Drawings, cash or cash equivalents taken out of a business for personal use by an individual, business owner, or corporation. Six, bad debts. A trader may not be able to collect all or a portion of the money owed from a customer when a debtor goes bankrupt. The entire or partial sum will not be realized. Bad debts are the unrealized amount. Uncollectible receivables are bad debts. Seven, purchases. The quantity of items that a business buys to utilize internally or to resale is known as a purchase. Cash purchases are those made for goods that are paid for in full and right away. Credit purchases are goods acquired with credit. 8. Purchase returns. Purchase returns are items that have been bought but are sent back to the seller before being used for issues like damage or poor quality. 9. Sales. Sales are the quantity of items that a business sells. Cash sales are those that are made in exchange for prompt payment in cash. Credit sales are defined as sales made on credit. 10. Sales returns. Items that are sold but are returned by the customer before they are used because they are defective or damaged are referred to as sales returns. 11. Dator. A debtor is someone who benefits from the business right away, but has to pay for those benefits later. 12. A creditor is someone who performs a service without expecting payment right away and who will make a claim for payment later. 13. Stock. All unsold merchandise, raw materials, etc. that belong to the company are referred to as stock. 14. Income revenue is the money a company makes from its operations and business activities. 1.3. Accounting Concepts The fundamental presumptions and guidelines that form the basis of accounting are known as accounting concepts. 1. Business Entity Concept The separate entity notion is another name for the business concept. It is considered that a business is an independent entity from the person who owns it. As a result, 
all business-related transactions must be documented in the accounting records. Business entities come in the following types. Sole proprietorship. An individual owns and operates a sole proprietorship, which is also referred to as a sole trader or just a proprietorship. Partnership. A company structure where two or more people run and manage the enterprise. Each owner bears equal and personal responsibility for the obligations incurred by the company.